one time one of my uncles told me, yeah, I mean, it's pretty nice that we have a mechanic in the family. Everybody needs a mechanic. So, you know, everybody needs a lawyer, a mechanic, a doctor. <laughs> and my family looks at me. I was the first to go to college and my family, they really supported me. And I think they, they see me especially my brothers. I, I mean, I, they've told me, they see me as uh, the role model too. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty good feeling. I grew up over in Mexico. I came over here to the U.S. when I was 12. I, I, I went to elementary over there. I went to middle school here, high school here. You know, it's one of the shy persons, you know. <laughs> I mean, definitely the first thing Coming to the U.S. It was the uh, language barrier, so that uh, was something that a lot of us that come from other countries experienced right away. I mean, I was lucky. I, I came here pretty early. I went through middle school and then on up. Uh, it's pretty tough, but I mean, if I did it, anybody anybody else can, as long as you put the work into it. <laughs> It was challenging, you know, at first because of the language, but, you know, being young, you know, we, you get the, you learn pretty good, pretty quickly. And I mean, in college, it was a little tough because of the homework, a lot, you know, it's like any other college. So it's definitely not easy. So, but it's, I think it's worth it. And I got, I was able to get my associate's degree too. I took the elective classes and I got my automotive degree and then my associates. Yeah, so I, I just started being a team leader. I, I definitely like it. I saw an image on the internet one time. There's definitely a difference between a leader and a boss. A leader definitely is helping out their coworkers and I do that too. Previous team leader was pretty good about that too. So I learned a lot from him and other mentors I had. So, I mean, it's, it's a pretty good feeling too that I got the opportunity, thanks to my manager too, my mentors. You know, you, we're using our brains all the time too. We're working with your hands, looking at schematics, wiring schematics, all that. I mean, if you don't want to be sitting down in the desk doing paperwork, if you like working with your hands, if, if you like something that's challenging, I think it's a good option. What I really enjoy, I mean, it's honestly is when you get those problem cars that take a while and, you know, sometimes they're frustrating, but once you figure it out and the car is running again, it's all back to normal. Pretty good feeling. <laughs>